Alright, so this is Iron Fist Episode 8 review. And it turns out, yes, they went to China. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen at all, but uh turns out that they, they did. They went to China. Um, you know, not really, really China, you know. But I'm pretty sure it was just like some back alley somewhere that they put a couple Chinese signs on. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a... Uh, it was, it was a decent episode, um, with the Meachams, Meachams are still going through it, um, still, um, Ward hasn't told Joy about, um, you know, the whole knowing that the father was still alive thing, that's, that's still something going on, I guess sooner or later he's gonna get around and telling her, if he doesn't die first, I still think he's gonna die before the end of the season, and Hero definitely did already, uh, by Ward's hands. Which is messed up um previous episode. Um but yeah, they're they're still going through it. Um nothing's really progressed uh with that story, really. Not really going anywhere. They're just bickering back and forth. Um But uh now we go to uh Danny's story. Um Danny's now in China and he brought friends with him, uh Claire and Colleen. Awesome trio. Um, apparently, first uh, their plan was to burn down um, the factory down there of, of Madam Madam Gauss, um, but then Madam Gauss shows up, and Danny decides to go after her. Um, when he's going after her, he actually uh, runs into um, this dude. He's laying down. He's getting drunk, and his whole time I'm like, "That's a drunken master," and. You know, Danny stops, and he's he offers the guy money, and I'm like, he's not going to take it, that's a drunken master. And um, the guy doesn't take the money, and he says that he's in charge of guarding the door, and lo and behold, it's a fucking drunken master. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, they have a pretty cool fight. It did get a little, um... A little, little cheesy for me because it felt a little out of place. But then I thought about it and I was like, you know, like, it's a drunken master. Like, like it is a form of martial arts. It's just some of the dialogue, you know, it kind of caught me off guard the way the guy was acting. It. But it was cool. Like, I would actually watch something that starred him, you know, just doing his thing. But it was, it did feel a little bit out of place, but it's all good. Um... Okay, so, um, that fight, that was just, like, the big fight. That was, like, the, the best moment of this episode for me. Um, right after that fight, uh, Danny has kind of gone a little too far. Luckily, Claire and Colleen, well, actually, um, Colleen had an awesome fight. Awesome fight, um, reminds me of the flying, flying tiger, hidden dragon, hidden dragon, flying saucer. Uh, movies from back in the day, um, with the sword fight, and it was, it was pretty tight, that was, that was a really good fight, um, yeah, it was pretty, it looks like she was about to lose, actually, um, until Claire showed up and tossed her, her sword, alright, um, we get to the end, uh, there's, like, two big baddies, like, next to Madame Gao, but they, they weren't really, like, a big deal, they were taken out, like, pretty easily, Turns out that their swords had poison on them, so uh, they ended up stabbing each other. Uh, and Danny sees the way that the effect of the poison looks. It looks like it makes it be it's like purple and very visible. Um, so uh, he puts two and two together, and he uh, remembers how the pilots looked when um, his plane had crashed. It was the same exact way, so. You know, he put together that it must have been Madame Gao that caused the plane crash because his dad must have um, figured out something about her and was probably going to check out what was going on at the factory. And um, that's when it all went to shit. That's how they're connected, you know. We'll see if anything else comes of that. Um, they capture Madame Gao. Uh, Danny decides not to kill her. Um, most likely because Claire has been chiming on him. All day, but I would have, I would have been like, kill her, kill that bitch, um, you know, like she's like super evil. She would have killed like 
fifty of you if she could, easily. Um, but yeah, he he decides not to, and now she's in custody. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm pretty sure she's gonna get out somehow. Maybe from the huge ninja organization she has. Um, that's gonna be going up against three people, and uh, you know, we'll see how how that goes. Um, so it was it was a decent episode. Not too bad. Um, wouldn't put it with the top. Wouldn't put it with the bottom. It was, it was fair. You know, uh, they got bumped up a little bit because of the whole uh, drunken master fight. Um, and you know the Colleen fight. But um, yeah, that was my review for that one. More to come. Uh, episode nine will be at you soon. And thanks for watching. Peace.